once you start looking closely at the moon, really looking, it becomes hard to avoid one simple, unsettling conclusion. The moon shouldn't exist. And I don't mean that in a mystical or a metaphorical way. I mean that based on what we know about planetary formation, its size, its orbit, and its behavior, it's an anomaly, a cosmic outlier. Let's start with something simple. Have you ever noticed that we only ever see one side of the moon? No matter the phase, no matter the season, it's always the same face looking down at us. That's because the moon is tidally locked to the Earth. It rotates at the exact same rate that it orbits, so the far side is never visible from here. Now that by itself isn't unheard of. Tidal locking happens. But it's still eerie when you really think about it, that the moon spins in perfect sync with us, hiding its dark side forever. And the timing of when we did finally see the far side is also strange. It wasn't until 1959 that the Soviet probe Luna 3 sent back the first blurry images of it. Until then, it was a complete unknown. For the entire history of human civilization, the closest object in our sky had an entire face we'd never seen. Anything could have been back there, and we wouldn't have known. But the weirdness doesn't stop there, because the moon isn't just hiding one side. It's also doing something far more consequential. It's keeping us alive. Follow for part four, where we'll talk about why the moon isn't just unusual, it's necessary, and how, without it, life on Earth may never have existed at all.